hi guys welcome back to my channel today's setup is a little different i wanted to try out a voiceover recording because you know being on youtube as a woman can be a little bit difficult because we have to worry about getting all made up and looking dolled up and there are some times when you know i'm just not feeling it and i just have something to say and i don't want to go through all of the changes of having to get dressed and put on makeup and make sure my hair is right and get my ring light out and all that different stuff so i just decided to try out a voiceover video so i hope you guys like it Today's video is going to focus on femininity and what I want to talk about today is why femininity isn't just used for men. One thing I have found while on my femininity journey is that I sometimes can encounter two different types of people that are the naysayers as it relates to um, femininity and everything that's going on with this movement of women embracing it and um, sometime from the women I get of course the traditional pick me or oh you're just doing that because you want um, attention and blah 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 you know men suck we don't want to do that and then from the men who are naysayers it's usually things like well you women are just doing that to gain control you're just trying to manipulate it's witchcraft it's just a way to you know get a man and then once you get him you're going to act completely differently and we shouldn't trust any of you and honestly when i see some of these videos and see some of these things on social media it honestly makes me laugh right because the thing about femininity is that it is not or should i say should not solely be for the man be it for the attention of a man for a man's validation to get a man femininity is so much deeper than that and that's not to say that those things don't exist of course there are women who um you know do engage in pick me activities for attention and there are women who um utilize femininity in a dark way to gain things and not really to be a help me or to compliment um the man so i'm definitely not saying that those things don't exist however true femininity really authentic femininity is not just for a man's attention it is about inspiring it is about complimenting it is about bringing a certain element to society that helps balance us out when i think of femininity i think of being inspiring i think of being a help me being complimentary and also being influential nurturing and those qualities are not just for a man in a relationship one of my favorite quotes by the great coretta scott king goes women if the soul of a nation is to be saved i believe that you must become its soul and what i love about that quote is to me it is saying the power and the influence that we have as feminine women and how that energy can be so soothing and saving to the things that are going on in this world and the things that are going on in this world are much bigger than just you know relationships when a woman leans into her femininity be it if she is working with her children if she's on her job and even interacting with strangers that feminine energy can be such a healing energy that people will encounter i um i teach and i find that the more i lead with my femininity with my students both male and female the more i'm able to get their best work um 
I am human. So when I do have my moments when I am, you know, stepping out of that energy and I'm very frustrated, all it does is frustrate my kids. But when I lead with the feminine and being gentle and understanding and patient, I find that it oftentimes disarms some of my most unruly students, you know, that I have because for some people you can't help but to react to that feminine nature but in a way um you know to just uh surrender and by way of surrendering I mean that when someone is meeting you at an emotional level you know that is more calm more stable I find that most people will often respond you know calming down themselves and i do this so often with my students and it works wonders as opposed to having to yell and scream at them all of the time and that is the perfect example of what leaning in and leading with that feminine energy will do for you even something as simple as smiling at people saying hello how are you doing I just find that it can be so helpful because you never know what people have going on you never know what's going on in their personal life and this is not saying that as a woman you're obligated to smile at people because I know how that can become a touchy subject but again going back to that quote from Mrs. King I just think of what that energy does to people and we can't just let an energy that is as inspiring and influential as femininity only be something that we utilize when it comes to our intimate relationships because the feminine energy really is uh, quite changing. It's quite changing to an atmosphere. And we have to utilize that as much as we can so we can leave a positive impact on the world. So we can change a lot of the energy, a lot of the things that are going on. I'm a firm believer, especially as it relates to the black community, that aside from systemic oppression, a lot of our issues, you know, could be resolved if we were to get you know a value system together and stronger families now that doesn't take away from the laws and the policies that we need because those are needed but just getting our community back together as our relationship goes I believe could drastically improve us and I feel a lot of that has to come down to how we relate to each other as men and women and you know, us getting into our natural God-given roles. I hope that this video inspires you to lean more into your femininity and not just for the attention of men, not just for the aesthetic, for the hair, the makeup, and the pretty dresses, because we like all of that, but to bring back some balance, we need more balance, more yin and yang, and more compliments to the masculine energy don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the video spread the word about the conversations that we're having over here on this youtube channel and as always i will see you guys in my next video bye